Hello YouTube world, something a little bit different today. Um, we all have those paws like this one that doesn't really look that great. In fact, this, whoops, this was a pour over a paw um, and it was just a quick demonstration to show somebody a straight paw and the colour is quite muddy, whether it's because there's a paw underneath it it's all dimpled it's not brilliant but i want to show you a really easy thing to do uh, to transform it well hopefully save it i have here just drawn on tracing paper a flower design now you can go and get um, an off cut of wallpaper for nothing from um, a hardware store similar to this kind of design um, and you can go and get here underneath this I have some white transfer paper now this white transfer paper um, I'll put the link down below from Amazon it's got like a, a, uh, a side a chalky side and a glossy side a smooth side so the chalky side goes down and you simply put your design on top, take a pen and go back over your drawing to transfer it onto your painting let's have a look there we go we've got a line to work to so i'm going to do this cover it all up not cover it up but um draw around all these pencil lines and i'll be back okay next stage so I've transferred my pencil, my drawing, onto um, my canvas using my white transfer paper. And you can just, you can see my pencil lines except really over the white, obviously. But if you tilt it, I can just see the marks. So there's enough there. What I've done is I've just marked the negative space with a Sharpie on my tracing just for my reference because what I'm going to do now is I'm going to take a brush this is a little angle brush and I'm going to take some water and I've got some transparent paint here and I've got this is oriental violet and I'm just going to take a bit and I'm going to paint in all this negative space now if this was predominantly blue, I'd probably use blue transparent paint. So whatever you, is your dominant colour, um, you know, that's what you'd start off with. And I'm simply, I don't have a lot of paint on my canvas, on my brush. <laughs> In fact, this could probably do and been a bit darker. So what I'm going to do I'm going to add a little bit of this violet 450. Let's go with that. And I might add some black. What I'm going to do, so I've got some carbon black here, if there's any left, <laughs> and I'm going to take some of this, take some of this, and make a much darker 
which not it's not really transparent anymore but maybe be semi-transparent we'll see So I'm looking at my picture reference all the time and going round my lines. She says, <laughs> being very careful. Now, you can go over once, or you can go over twice. Depends how much you want to knock your background down. So I'm gonna carry on doing this. It'll be a quick time. And move back with the next stage. So I've made the negative space a lot darker um, than originally anticipated, so I've given it a few layers, but I've also gone in and just with one layer of paint, one coat of paint, I have just shaded in parts underneath the leaves where there needs to be at a little bit of depth. Um, which you probably can't see on here. It's very subtle. What I'm going to do now is I'm going to take this pen. Um, there's all sorts of white paint markers you can get. Arteza do a very good set, but this is what I have. Um, I will try and find these. They're very old. If I do find them, <laughs> I'll put the link below. And to get these going... <laughs> You need to give them a good shape and you need to depress the point to get a nice flow. Now it's obviously going to be quite time consuming. Some of these lines are going to be a lot thicker than others and I'm simply going to draw. And paint. Fill in rather. Areas that I want to be thicker. Oh, my door's going to bang. Oh no, it's very windy here. And I'm going to go over the whole of the canvas, put something on the telly. And uh, I might go and grab a coffee. <laughs>
so here we have the finished one now the only thing that i did was probably put some black shading with a pen underneath bits that i just really wanted to create a little bit more depth and now this is a really good way of of um just having a bit of fun really i find it really relaxing um I've got one here, again a failed pour from a few years ago that might be nice with some daffodils or something and give them the same treatment. I just think it adds a little bit more life and it's really good fun to do so give it a go, why not? <laughs> 